Open world games is a genre every gamer is a fan of and one such titan of the open world game is about to hit your consoles. Welcome to another episode of Mr. Virtual. Let's get started. Today we'll be talking about Anthem which claims to be having the biggest open world of all times. Anthem is an upcoming online multiplayer action role playing video game being developed by BioWare and published by Electronic Arts. It is slated for a 2018 release on Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Players will assume the role of a freelancer, one of a group of people who leave their civilization to explore the surrounding landscape. Anthem is an action role playing game set in an open world environment and played from a third person perspective in which player takes the role of a freelancer donning fully customizable exosuits called javelins. These suits can be customized to have various unique weapons and superhuman abilities. Two clusters of javelins were shown during Anthem's presentation at Microsoft's E3 2017 conference. One was the Ranger, which is an all-round and balanced javelin, and the Colossus, which is a larger and more heavily armored javelin made to fill in more of a tanking role. The game features both single player and cooperative multiplayer elements in a shared world that can have up to 4 squad members per team. Teams can fight savage beasts and ruthless marauders while exploring lost ruins and experience massive world altering terrain occurrences such as shaper storms. BioWare and Mondon teased the game at E3 2014. Anthem was teased during EA's EA Play Pre E3 press conference on June 10, 2017. Gameplay was demonstrated for the first time during Microsoft's E3 press conference the next day running on Xbox One X. It is set to be released in late 2018 for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. According to Patrick, EA's Vice President, BioWare plans to support the game with new content and updates long after the game's official release. On the first look, Anthem looks a bit like Destiny, but as the game starts to unveil its feature, Destiny is nowhere around. Anthem provides with a beautiful admirable background and some really top of the line graphics that really takes the game to a whole new level, with all the action taking place in exosuits called javelins. Non-hostile activity takes place in Fort Tarsus, which is a community surrounded by huge walls protecting it from the outside hostile environment. Like I have talked about Destiny, questions must be arising that is it a single player game or a multiplayer one? According to the sources, the game is designed for both to be played as a single player with some really awesome Bioware storyline and lets you explore the massive open world on your own or you can join with your friends and experience the open world together. During the gameplay, we notice some new features like while exploring the open hostile world, the game switches itself to a third person view. While you are roaming in Fort Tarsus, it puts you into a first person view but it seems a bit odd experiencing both views. The director of the game, Jonathan Warner, emphasized on the fact that you can play the game the way you want. It's going to be a frictionless experience. The game provides you with various types of exosuits, each having its own different specialization, customization and fighting styles. The exosuits are having jetpacks that is seemingly how you get around. The game looks very impressive on the first look but can't be said more than that until the game releases. There will be a detailed gaming review on this once the game releases. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also do enable the bell icon for every update. So guys, this is Mr. Virtual signing off.